My name is Jasmine Riddler, and this is The Music Man, pages 91 through 93. Yes? Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swindling two-bit thumble wigger. That's why I gotta see Shin. I'm just passing through. Number eight only makes a 15-minute water stop. Wish it was 20. Would sure like to con concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cowell, Anvil Salesman. But just now, I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity on, from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake? My old lady's corset cover. That fellow's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he's not going to spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him. He's no more professor. I know all about that. Band leaders are always called professor. It's harmless deception. He's a fine director and his scholastic- Now wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one a note from a music of a, from any band? No, but- But nothing, girly girl. He never formed a band in his life, and ne he never will. If you'll just listen to me for a minute- I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that, if I had the time. I sure got the inclination, but I gotta get back on that train. And I've got to leave this dynamite. With somebody on the way to the depot. Bye, girly girl. See you next time through. You'll never make that train at the depot. You'll have to catch it at crossing. No, sir. I've got to leave word. And I can see you ain't the one to leave it with. Just a minute, Mr. Cowell. You don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? No, I meant I don't know you and... Yes, I need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. I never met a man who sells anvils. That's something, well, quite different. Takes a real salesman, I can tell you that. Anvils have a limited appeal, you know. What am I doing? I miss that train, I'll get fired. And I gotta leave word about that fellow, Hill. Leave word with me. Not on your tin type. How do I know you deliver these letters? Try me. There's your train. Now run for it. I'm Jasmine Riddler, and this is The Music Man, pages 22 through 23, 80 through 82, and 105 through 106. Did you drop your... No. Did I meet you in? No. I will only be here for a short while. Good. That you, daughter? Yes, Mama. Keep on, Amaryllis. I'll be there in a minute. Hello, Mama. Fine, dear. Now do your exercises. Get his papers or get him in jail. Couldn't make myself any clearer if I see a button hook in the wall water. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shen has behaved abominably. I think what you did was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. Oh, that was nothing. Yes, it was. Oh, no. A man can't dodge that issue every little time a little personal risk is involved. I couldn't think of asking you to do a thing like that. Why, Professor Hill. You would? I'd be glad to. I I'm just... I wish I was a little more conf informed. I've been waiting to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. His cornet? Mother of Pearl. Keys? I I'm sure it's fine. But you see, he never touches it. The first week or so, he made a few... Experimental blats, I guess you'd say. Yes. Yes, and he sings the men you wed in G da da almost constantly. La -de 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 -da -de -da la -de -de la -de -da -de but he never touches the cornet. Well, you see. He says you told him it wasn't necessary. Well? He tells me about some think system. He thinks the minuet in G, he won't have to bother with the notes. Now, Professor. When may I call? Why, any night this week. Now then, where were we? You were about to tell me what I don't know about you. Yeah? Well, we really don't have time to go into that just now, do we? No, we don't. Or ever, for that matter. Harold, the librarian hasn't felt much like doing research lately, but she did plenty when you first came here. Oh? About what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, Gold Medal Class of 05. Harold, 
there wasn't any Gary Conservatory in 05. Why, there certainly. Because the town wasn't even built until 06. I'll see you at the sociable. You knew all this time? Since July 7th, three days after you came, I tore this page out of the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you, but now I'll give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew, why didn't you? Why, you little... I'm Jasmine Riddler, and this is The Music Man, pages 50 through 51. Professor, her kind of woman doesn't belong on any committee. Of course I shouldn't tell you this, but she advocates dirty books. Dirty books? Chaucer, Robilus, Balzac! And the worst thing, of course I shouldn't tell you this, but... I'll tell. The man lived on my street. Let me tell. Stop! I'll tell. She made brazen overtures to a man who never had a friend in this town till she came here. Old Miser Madison. Miser Madison? Madison Gymnasium? Madison Picnic Park? Madison, Madison Hospital? That Miser Madison? Exactly. Who did he think he was anyway? Well, I should say, show off. Gave the town the library too, didn't he? That's just it. When he died, he left the library building to the city. But he left all the books to her. She was seen going and coming from his place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That woman made brazen overtures. My name is Jasmine Riddler, and this is the music man, Mrs. Peru Cut. Miss Peru, do you realize you have the facial characteristics of a cornet virtuoso? I don't know if I understand you entirely, Professor. If your boy has the same firm chin and those splendid cheek muscles, by George, not that he could ever be really great, you understand, but... Oh, is that so? And in the name of St. Bridget, why not? Well, you see, all the really great cornet players were Irish. O'Clark, O'Mendez, O'Klein... But, Professor, we are Irish! No, no, really? That cliches it. Signed here, Miss Peru. Your boy was play born to play this cornet. Fine, fine. That would be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing more due until the first installment payment at opening of band practice. Ah, uh, thank you. And of course, I'll need the boy's measurements for his band uniform. His uniform? Certainly, his uniform. And there won't be a penny due till delivery, which gives him four weeks to enjoy it, to anticipate, to imagine, at no cost whatsoever. Never allow the demands of tomorrow to interfere with the pleasures and excitement of today. You'll have to excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can't get him to say three words a day, even to us. And if you get him to play in the band, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. But if anybody can do it, I bet you can. Out of a crowd, I'd pick you. A hot carrying, clay pipe smoking, shamrock wearing, heart playing, marine pinching, Terrace Hill minstrel singing, Irishman, be gob, and be jobbers. Where are you from, my boy? Gary, Indiana. I knew it! Gar what did you say again? I'm Jasmine Riddler, and this is the music man, Mrs. Shencut. And this is Miss Squires and Miss Hicks, and of course she met Eulalie McKenny Shin, our mayor's wife. Isn't it so excited, Eulalie? Oh, I couldn't say. I could not say. Oh, no, I could not say at this time. My husband will wish to investigate, I'm sure, and naturally, I'm resident. Oh, yes, I'm resident. Of course, Miss Shin, I understand, but you see... Part of my music plan includes a committee on the dance, and... No, wait. Wait! Do that again, Miss Shin. Your foot. The way you raised it just now. Oh, I have a bunion there that bothers... Oh, what grace. What natural flow of rhythm. What expression of line and movement. Mr. Hill. You must accept the chairmanship for the ladies' auxiliary for the classic dance. Mustn't she, ladies? Every move you make, Miss Shin, bespeaks del sarte. Will you... Will you? Say yes, Miss Shin. Lely McCackney Shin. Oh, well, I... That is dancing well. Then you accept? Yes, indeed. And I would like to say... Thank you. And now, the lady who plays the piano. Marion Peru, I believe. <gasps> After all, she is the librarian.